Hey Richard here. I wanted to make a couple of comments about the situation in Israel-Palestine, you know. And I was watching, uh, a couple of times I watched Palestinian representatives or people who claim to represent the Palestinian people. That's a different thing because Biden claims to represent us and so does Trump. So we know how that, what that means. <clears throat> and each time when it's a BBC or Western media, they immediately, will you condemn Hamas? Will you condemn the attack? The problem is, uh, the difficulty I have with that is I don't see, I don't really see the attack uh, as an atrocity. Uh, it was a resistance. They escaped the concentration camp they've been kept in, where uh, the perpetrator controls the air, the water, the sea, what goes in, what goes out, and so forth. And of course, the people in it are people who lived outside of it, or their ancestors. Now that doesn't mean there weren't atrocities committed. I just happened to look up the thing about the rave and I saw that um, and people running and so forth. But the, the, um, to, to, to call it, to, to this demand that we condemn Hamas, I don't support the methods of Hamas. I don't support the methods of the Israeli, the Zionists either. But I, I look at the position from Palestinian, anybody speaking on Palestinians' behalf must get sick and tired of having to do that after the what's gone on over the last 30, 40 years. Well, longer than that. Longer than that. But I mean, just remember when they were shooting young kids in the knees for protesting on their own side in Gaza. Then, then there's the West Bank and everything else. So I'm a little concerned about referring it to, uh, refer, focusing on atrocities are caused in these situations. People do bad things. If I was one of them getting out of Gaza, I can't say, to be quite honest, after years and years and the, uh, the horrors of that, that I would have been generous with my, my, my weapons. I just don't know. But the thing is, that's a, it's a bit of a trick, that. That's to, again, to the narrative is always the Palestinians, the victim of the problem. Just think of the fact that they've got no planes, no boats, you know, they came in on gliders, for Christ's sakes. But the, the thing is, is what made me think about it and think more about it, is isn't it a little, little bit insensitive to have a party, and a, it's like a Glastonbury or Woodstock or the Isle of Wight, smaller version, out, out three miles from a concentration camp? That's a bit insensitive, isn't it? I mean, over here, if you say a word, or if there's any hint of anti-Semitism in anything, they're on you like a dog. If you're a Jew, you're a self-hating Jew, traitor, you know? And I'm not opposed to being on uh, 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 upon anti-Semitism and keeping an eye out for anti-Semitism. But b opposing Israel isn't anti-Semitism. And I've often criticized many American Jews for being weak on that. Don't think you're safe here. Read the Oppermans if you want to know about whether or not, if you have money or if you're a bourgeois Jew, whether or not you can survive the onslaught if you have to. And in this country, the Gentile bourgeois have no love for Jews. They could turn that around in a minute if they needed. But the question is, what, what, what sort of people have a big party outside of some concentration camp? Could you imagine that happening outside uh, Auschwitz in Oshwienschim, the Polish village there where I was at there? That, that, oh, we're having a big party. Oh, that'd be, that, 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 that'd be all over the place. Insensitive. Christ, oh, come on. Read, read Norman Finkelstein's book, The Holocaust Industry. Know how the Zionists behave in relation to that. And if you meet Israelis, ask them if they know about the Bund if they know anything about Jewish European history, which is a fantastic history, centuries of it, centuries of it. In fact, m most of the people I know uh, 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 that, are, uh, that, are, that are supporting the Palestinians are Jewish. So it's not about that. But we, we haven't seen all over the news about, oh, that's a bit insensitive, having a big party outside a concentration camp. As I've said in previous videos, some people think Gaza's a nation here. The media is so controlled and dominant. Anyway, I want to sh sh say those couple of things uh, uh, about that. And um, I'm sure it's not going to make s some people happy.